Hey, what's going on guys? I wanted to make a quick video here and show you how to add folder stacks to your dock. Um, so if you have a lot of applications here that are cluttering up your dock, it's nice to organize them all into one place using these folder stacks. Um, now the way that you do this is that you group all of your applications into a single folder and then you just drag it, drag it down to the dock. Uh, but there's one little caveat here is that there's been some people online who have said that whenever they uh, move any applications out of their applications folder or group them into a folder, um, then sometimes it messes with the updates of the application or um, some websites won't recognize that the application's already installed. So you really don't want to move applications out of your applications folder if that's the default place where it expects it to be. Um, instead, what I like to do is within my home directory, uh, I have this folder here called Docstacks. And so for example, if I made a new folder here and just called this text editors, then if I go back to my applications, instead of moving the actual application itself, so say for example within this folder I wanted um, Adam brackets and uh, let's do the new sublime text. Instead of moving these out of the applications folder, uh, let's create an alias. And the way that you can do an alias, you can either uh, right click and create an alias that way or you can hit uh, command option and then drag and it will automatically create the alias. Um, so you can see here these little arrows at the bottom left. Uh, we know that they are an alias of the file and not the file itself and we can see over here in the applications that our files are still there. So if we go back then we can now drag this text editors folder down into our doc and we'll just put it right there. And now you can see that we have this folder stack here on our dock. Um, so if I close these down, um, now I'm able to take these applications and uh, just remove them from my dock. And now it saves a lot of space because now I have them here in one place instead of uh, cluttering up my dock. So I hope this quick tip was useful for you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Uh, be sure to subscribe for future tips and tutorials, and thanks for watching.